everybody, Jessica here from Preferred Physical Therapy, where we help people 40 and over stay active and independent, live free from painkillers, and avoid surgery. So to go along with this month's topic of vertigo, I will be expanding a little bit on myths surrounding vertigo, what it is, and how to treat it. To start off, I want to explain a little bit about what vertigo is in case you didn't catch my coworker's video explaining a little bit about vertigo. I'm just going to do a quick once over. So essentially what it is, is in your inner ear, there's an, an area with fluid that holds little crystals in it. These crystals and the position of them give your brain information onto where your body is in space and kind of tells you if you're laying down, standing upright, you're, you're laying on your side, it'll give you kind of information about where your body is positioned. Sometimes the crystals in that fluid will get knocked out of that section of the inner ear and land in these circular canals that lie just beyond that little area. And these crystals, when they get lodged in those canals or they get stuck in those canals, they can give your brain wrong information about how your body is oriented, leading to a confused feeling in your brain, leading to a confused feeling in your body. That's where a lot of that dizziness happens, those vertigo type symptoms that you might get when those crystals get dislodged. So now that you understand a little bit more about what vertigo is, the first myth that I want to go over is if it has to do with my inner ear, if I don't have hearing loss, then I don't have vertigo, even if I'm having balance issues or dizziness. And that is a myth. You don't necessarily have to have hearing loss to have issues with your inner ear. This portion of the inner ear is, is deeper beyond your eardrum and it holds these canals like I was talking about. It holds this fluid filled or the crystals in the fluid um, and it doesn't necessarily have to do with your hearing it has more to do with your brain's interpretation of these um, of these things in your inner ear so hearing loss does not necessarily have to be part of the issue if you're having balance issues it could be due to these crystals um, the next myth I want to go over is how you're going about treating your symptoms of vertigo. If you've ever had vertigo, you know there's a lot of dizziness involved. You could be laying down and roll over in bed to reach for your, your lamp or your glass of water and all of a sudden the room is spinning and you just feel out of control sensation in your body and it just is not fun. So people think, well, I just won't move and it won't happen. And although that's not necessarily wrong, it's partly a myth because it's not going to treat your symptoms. It might stop you from having that dizziness in the moment, avoiding those emotions that cause it to happen. You're probably going to avoid the dizziness and balance issues, but it's not going to treat the reason why it's happening. And that leads me into the next kind of area and myths I wanna talk about is that there's no treatment for vertigo. If it is the type of vertigo that is caused by those crystal displacements, usually um, BPPV, if you've ever heard of it, um, that is one of the more common types and it is treatable. It's treatable here in physical therapy with someone who knows how to do these treatments um, that are more hands-on. You do have to come in and get this done, but it usually can be solved in just a few visits, even one to two visits, people tend to feel a lot better if it is caused by that crystal displacement. We do have techniques that we can do to sort of manipulate the head and body into positions to try to get those crystals back into where they're supposed to be so they're no longer sending confusing signals to your brain. If you have vertigo, you suspect you have vertigo, or you know someone who has vertigo, or even a little bit broader than that, if you know someone who's having balance issues and those balance issues are accompanied by dizziness, they might be the perfect candidate to go and talk to a physical therapist about this, even just to rule out if it is this BPPV or if it might be related to something else, not a bad idea to go get it checked out. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below and we'll get back to you. Also check out our YouTube channel. We have videos just like this and many, many more about all kinds of topics to see if we can help with some of the issues that you may be having. Thanks and have a good one.